Private First Class Rael Mark Quazon was enlisted into the Guam National Guard this week. It's the first ceremony of its kind for the Guam National Guard on Saipan since 2014. It comes amid a renewed push to establish a CNMI National Guard. There's some legislation that uh, Carlos Kilini has been uh, working on along with the National Guard. So there's some languages that needs to go through the legislation. Uh, but in terms of appropriation, in terms of some of the commitment, uh, we do have commitments from across Indopecom, the White House, uh, Pentagon, um, CJMT. So the support of having and creating our National Guard, we have that support. It's just the legislation that's being uh, worked on now. He says that support also comes from the Guam National Guard. But why does the NMI need its own? It's actually very critical because not only that we see military activities here in Asia and around the Pacific uh, Micronesia, um, but also seeing the military build up in Tinian, having divert airfield. Um, we're seeing so many disasters here in the Sinai that's occurred in the last seven years that normally occurs one every 10 years. And then the other part is having the opportunity here for our, for our men and women, high school graduates, and those that wants to pursue uh, in uh, being part of the, uh, the armed forces in a different capacity. He says the pandemic proved the need for a National Guard. When President Trump um, did a national emergency, we weren't able to benefit from that while everywhere else, Guam benefited from that and everywhere else in the United States uh, benefited from having 100% um, covered and then providing that services to the people of the CNMI. We didn't have a National Guard to help our people, same uh, from Rhoda, Tinian, Saipan, and of course, the Northern Island. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News.